It was another quiet morning, the cool breeze wafting through the house, carrying on at the scent of the... Oh. I was just finishing writing in my journal, looking up as I was closing my book. I could see my younger sisters playing in the front yard with my mother. I remember smiling at the sound of their laughter, looking down the hallway to my father's empty study. I had just sank back into my chair and for a split second began to think it was nice to hear the wind chimes and the giggling. Then I was snapped back into reality with a spine chilling scream and the confusing sight of soldiers bursting up the stairway, grabbing and dragging me out of the house, half stumbling onto my mother as she rushed forward to wrap her arms around me, pleading with the men. Mom? What? Uh, no! She was shoved to the ground, pleading for my release. My little sister was trying to run and grab around my waist, no, no, no. and my mother was catching her as she was knocked back by a soldier's boot. They were both knocked backward. I could barely crane my head around to see my youngest baby sister with her stuffed doll running to hide inside the house. I strained my head as much as I could the other way, and I could see my cousins being dragged from their house too. The next door neighbors, conscripts. Our fathers and brothers had already been taken. There were so few of us left already. This war, why will it never end? So few of us left. Cut off from our allied territories and elves. Not having large families to begin with, we're pulling every living soul old enough to hold a weapon into the front lines. They promise not to take all children from every household. Though I struggled to free my arms and walk on my own, I was dragged away with the futile hope that maybe my sacrifice would spare my younger sisters from facing the same war. Maybe, maybe mom will be willing to move, move further back, away from the front. There were still some rural villages in the mountains they could run to. I could hear my little sister scream my name through her tears. But the baby? She's barely old enough to walk. She may never remember she even had a big sister. I could only yell that I loved them. If it was the last thing I'd ever get to say, even though we were demonstrative or snappy, and we thought about stupid little things. It needed to be heard, if ever, now. I promised to come back as soon as I could, but this was muffled as I was forced into the vehicle, jammed up against the other young girls, locking eyes with my cousin Frooks. Her name escaped my lips instinctively as we reached out to clasp our hands together for support. At least we were in this together. With any hope, a treaty can be reached before we become the next front line. V. I heard her stumble over the first syllable of my name, and seeing the tears escape her stark face, <sighs> I silently fought back my own. So few of us left. Even fewer left behind. We passed through one village after the next, half like ghost towns. Some fled to the last standing capital city, some to the rural outskirts, others refusing to move from their family homes in fear of having no place left to run. Height? My height? Five mm. ten. Yeah, I'm a little short for the average. I am a kid. Mm. Eyes. You can see them. Mm. Silver blue. Hair. Blue. <clears throat> Age. Uh, stunning confused. The offer stood us in a row to declare our physical stats for the identity tags. Something to aid in the cleanup when we get blown to pieces, I suppose. Unfortunately... And despite the determination and prowess of our last remaining seasoned leaders, the new round of enemy weaponry wiped out every living soul in less time than it would take to boil a kettle of water for tea. 
No final prayer. No flash of a peaceful, beautiful memory from our short-lived lives would spare or comfort us. No one was going to be lucky today. I don't really need any help in the field. I don't want to drag anyone into this with me just to get them hurt. But if anyone out there, the healer, really like to make friends with you real fast right now. Want to be my Healy? Because buddying up in this confusion, in this horrific situation would be a really good thing to do. You know, I think I remember what the smile of the smell of lilacs was like carried on the wind from the tree outside my window. I think I remember that smell. Every time I get blown unconscious, I seem to remember that smell and start to drift toward it. I don't really understand. Just every time I come back. Why do I keep coming back? It's just, I can't seem to remember. I seem to remember less. I, what is my name? What, what was my name? It's, we all have numbers here. I, in the confusion, whenever they find us on the field, they put us back together if we're salvageable and they can still use us they bring us back like uh, resuscitation resuscitation and it every time they do we don't get much time to think we don't get to ask any questions they're just always shouting at us putting weapons back in our hands and aiming us at other people Maybe it's that other people who are pleading for their lives. Are they my enemies? I don't have time to think about this if I don't want to be knocked back to the world of the dead again by my own superior officers. I have to just obey. I just have to obey. I don't have time to think about this. I have to get back out there and try not to die. But I mean, I keep... I think I keep getting killed, but for some reason, I don't. I'm not dead? Am I dead? Is this just a nightmare? I, I, I'm here, I'm alive. I look like me. I, it's just this young kid. I don't even know how long this has been going on for. It's such a muddle. So many ways to die. <laughs> Absolutely. It hurts. And then there's drifting. And then there's seeing myself smashed to pieces. And the next thing I know, more pain. And I'm back. And I, I'm. That woman was begging me not to shoot her. She said we knew each other. She say, was she my mom? But all I know is that every time they bring us back, there's a fault, there's this shock, there's this, like lightning pain, and then they're shouting at me and aiming weapons in my hands at other people. And then we're put back out there with the machines and the explosions and confused people. I, I, I remember that it's important to make friends. I remember, I remember what I look like and I know I remember the smell. I remember the smell flowers in the trees. 
and I just want to get back to that tree. I know that smell was important. It comforted me, and and it brings me back to finding me, me, V. Someone who I know called me V. I, I'm not quite sure how to put this together, but I do know that this retraining, every time we get reawakened, it's, they're brainwashing us. Now that I know this is what they're doing, they're testing us. If we don't obey them, they just slash us back down, bring us back there. They're stripping our minds of who we are just to keep people fighting a war that never seems to end. But if no one will stop aiming a weapon, how can it ever end? I, I know that I came from somewhere. I know that I know someone who's out there. And I know that, that they called me V. And that woman, that woman, if, if she was my mom, they're testing, they're testing the effectiveness of this retraining, brainwashing thing on our own families? Is that why there's so few of us left? There's got to be others like me who, who figured out what's going on. I need to find them. I think I have an idea of who, who else might be piecing this together. So long as I know, so long as I know, I'm going to figure this out. I am not going to do this forever. I was not born to slaughter the rest of this world. I, why can't I die? I mean, I keep getting killed. What is the price of immortality? It's to keep dying and keep coming back. I don't I don't seem to be old. I don't look sick. So I, I don't know what this all means yet, but I know this. Whatever I am, whether I've always been this or they made us into this, well, okay, I, I think that I need to find more people like me, and whether I do or not, I'm getting out of here. I am not doing this. I have got to find wherever I came from. The only clue I have is the scent. On a breeze, fly locks. Then I think every spring I've got to be on the move. I've, I've got to find. I've got to find where I come from. I've got to find out if any of my family is left. I've got to find the people. I knew who I was. I know. I've been broken into pieces. But my brain is a mess. And it's going to take a while to piece this all together. There have got to be other survivors out there. And my redemption. If I, oh, I really hope that I was not ever made to kill anyone innocent. But I, I promise myself I am going to get out of this. I'm going to find other people like me. I'm going to find people to help. Uh, for as long as they need or protect them, I will help them get back to their homes while I search for mine. And if I have any relative left out there, a sister, cousin, my mom, I'm going to find them until I do. There are too many of us who have been ripped from our homes. Too many of us whose full homes have been flattened by this horrific war. I, I am going to help us rebuild. We're going to find a place. 
and we'll make a family of ourselves and we will make a home. Most of us just get one, one mortal lifetime. One soul. Mine. For some reason, can keep coming back to me. I'm gonna try to heal us. So we can be whole again. It's one life. Our one soul is so precious. So is every life around us. I... I'm not sure where to go, but I'm gonna follow my instincts. I'm gonna... I'm gonna follow my soul. <laughs> if I'm not quite sure, it seems to... It seems to be able to tell me. Give me hints. I've got to start paying attention. And... And heal. I hope that anyone I find on my journey back to... Well, on my journey... In this journey... It's just proving valuable. And I'm going to do everything I can to make it worthwhile for anyone who wants to join me for however long they choose and for anyone who wants place anyone who wants help I know I need to heal I want my memories back I want my mind to be healthy not just my body but both and I'm not quite sure which direction to take, but I do know to take a direction, I've got to take a step. So if you're out there, if we come across each other, you're welcome to join me for however long you'd like, for curiosity, for fun, for family. For now, or for always, it'll be up to you, but my door's open. I welcome you. Ave am soul. I'll see you out there.